What's up everyone, it's Jan Boers, new video, and today I'm going to talk about Maneskin's new single, Super Mall. and well, wait for my reaction, but before I do, I'll ask you for subscription, I'll ask you for giving thumbs up to this video, and as well to share your comments with me in the comments below. Let's talk! Welcome! That was over dramatic. Anyway, welcome to my channel. I'm really glad you're here and you are probably waiting for giving you my impressions from new Maneskin single. This matter is a bit complicated because I saw three versions. Firstly, I saw it at Eurovision and I was like, well, maybe I'm not gonna do any reaction impression or whatever because I'm not sure if I liked it. And then I watched it yesterday before I was doing this video and I was like, well, I'm still not sure. But then, and that's what I really recommend to you to watch their official music video or put it in your headphones or watch it at Jimmy's Fallon show because that's them that's really them and I can't really get away from that feeling that this year's Eurovision just somehow just couldn't connect music with the proper visuals it just didn't kind of work together and there was no atmosphere of those songs really working I can't tell you why I don't know I don't know I have some tips but that's not a matter of this video this video is about supermodel it's awesome lyrics we just say like okay wow this song has a story this song's probably very controversial as well this is Maneskin I think would make their trademark it's this that you recognize them among everybody else with their song which is basically a single completely colorating with what they are doing this is like I wanna be a slave I wanna be a master in the very it's a bit different but it's the still same vibe same genre same rock and roll that's what they do and I'm just can't wait if they're going to release kind of album of such songs because what I really hate on nowadays is that it's a era of singles so I can't really focus on a band which I like it's always connecting with like I'm connecting with those people through albums that I play 20 of their songs which just say some story about them but Supermodel that definitely goes with this story anyway even if it's a single it's a great one it's a great story it's a great vibe it's a great music it's a great lyrics great live performing like there's nothing missing and Monaskin just shown again that they are world-class man and maybe there are so many other like them but maybe they didn't have a chance or luck or whatever but I think that you just simply need something super special and if you have something super super special like everything on AAA level and something more which essence no one knows and we call it X Factor then you can become more than supermodel you can become monoskin and that's my impression from supermodels like I don't need to tell you like how much I like it because I think it's <laughs> yeah I do, I do. It's something which I put on my headphones. I just start to play it when I go to shower every morning. This is a song which has somehow very positive vibes. And it really says something very negative story actually about relationships with supermodels. It's just the story is very concrete as well. It gives you the vibe which you just when you're listening to the song you just say yes this is exactly how it is. This is exactly what I think. This is exactly what it means. And I really think this is a bit brave to release song with such a lyrics because I can imagine like how many people are hunting Maneskin down just for it. Because it's full of stereotypes, but the stereotypes I actually agree with. But maybe if you cover it in the mode of 90s, you're safe. And we all should be safe because there are topics which should be said out loud. It's nothing wrong about it and they're doing it for the whole general public. And I think the song is going to be awesomely successful. But I'm talking, talking, talking. Go and listen the song, listen their music video, watch their music video, watch Jimmy's Fallon show. 
watch Eurovision show, compare it and then write me in the comments below what you think and which version do you like the most. And that's basically it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give thumbs up to this video, share it among your friends, watch my other videos and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Even my holiday is going to start, so I don't know how it's going to be my posting on Eurovision ends. But I have few topics anyway in my sleep. I'm not going to be your slave. I'm kidding, that was unnecessary anyway, so uh, see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.